So we got a buddy coming over. The guy who owns the head that I planed yesterday. And we're going out to run some errands or do some stuff. So I'm not sure how much footage I will get today and I'm not sure how much of this I will do. So the way you measure a dovetail is by using a couple of dowels. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, just as long as you use the same ones. So we got 1.160. Make sure this is going back to zero. One point one six zero. I think I fucked up my head. Uh oh. I have to make another one. Put the V too deep.
it might not fit at all or it might fit and uh, be very snug um, but yeah let's see oh yeah and it even tightens up cool all right so I need to break the edges fancy it up a little bit and then I need to um, what do I need to do I need to cut the slot for the uh, tool I kind of got started without you guys, but we're just putting some magic marker on the back side of this tool holder. On the tool side of the tool holder. So I'm going to scribe off that line, 440 thousandths. I've got a cutter in there that's the right width to work for my tools. We'll take 50 thousandths and see how that works. Alright, now we can take it out of the vise and have a look and see that it's starting to look a little bit like a tool holder. It has the dovetail mount and we have the place to put the tool. So now what we need to do is tap and thread holes for the tool hold down and for the height adjuster. So we have a line scribed for the center of the hole this way and then we have the exact location marked where we're going to put the adjuster. 
So we'll mark it off on both sides. There and there. 572. Scribe that one. Scribe that one. So now we have the position of all our holes marked out. And so now I need to center drill and then drill them out and thread them. All right, so I have it mounted in the vise. I have my chuck, my keyless chuck switched in. This is the first time that I've used this keyless chuck. I have no idea if it's any good or not, but uh, we'll find out. Chuck seems okay. Well, the battery died on the camera, but we got uh, lots of footage of me making this part. It is just about done. The part itself is actually done. All that we need to do to it now is add the set screws and this part here. The plan is to have my buddy help me or me help him um, make uh, a couple of these or one of these anyway and uh, try to make a movie out of it. Um, he's never used a milling machine or lathe uh, as far as I know and I'm gonna see if I can get him to build one without uh, completely botching it up. Uh, I actually botched up the first one I didn't film it but I cut the groove too wide and uh, I had to start over so this is actually my second attempt I wanted to get the groove cut before I went out, and that's what happens when you rush. So that is the end of the movie for today, and I will see you guys next time.